What's up gamers, you have Tiger Chainsaw here, and today I am reviewing a game that has gotten a lot of flack, and I'm trying to decide for myself whether all the criticism is valid. That game is Altered Beast. Now Altered Beast was released in the arcades in 1988, and then ported in 1989 and bundled with the Sega Genesis. So a lot of gamers played it when the Genesis was released. Now before I get into this review, if this is your first time on my channel, or if you just haven't yet, make sure you hit that sub button as I have plenty of video game reviews and lots of retro gaming content. All right, let's rise from the grave and see if Altered Beast is worth playing. After its success in the arcade in 1988, Altered Beast was ported to the Sega Genesis in 1989 in North America and bundled with the console at launch. Now the game has received a lot of flack over the years and until recently, I never played it. But I had heard so much about Altered Beast that I wanted to experience it for myself and make my own opinion. So let's jump in to Altered Beast to see what all the fuss is about. But be warned, spoilers are ahead. You are a Roman centurion who died in a legendary battle. Besides the dying part, the god Zeus was so impressed with you that he decides to resurrect you from the dead to save his daughter Athena, who has been captured by a demon god called Neph. Now to withstand this incredible journey and battles that this unnamed centurion will have to go through, Zeus grants this warrior the power to transform into a creature with incredible fighting powers once three spirit balls are collected. So as the warrior, you go through five levels and eventually end up rescuing Athena from Neph. And in the end, she embraces you, although I think you are still in animal form, perhaps she is into furries. Whatever the case is, she ends up safe and sound in your arms. The game begins with Zeus speaking to you from the heavens. Right from your grave. Holy shit, are we sure this is a bad game? Well, it might not be a bad game, but this game sure is easy. I'm not very good at beat-em-ups, but I had no issues beating Altered Beast. Altered Beast is a very slow beat-em-up where the main objective of every level is to collect three blue balls before transforming into the ultimate form of an Altered Beast. Once you transform into an Altered Beast, you acquire these incredible powers that really just help you destroy any enemy in sight. I think the difficulty level of Altered Beast really hurts it because you can breeze through this game in 15 to 20 minutes. The game might actually be even easier in co-op mode. Now that's cool that they do offer multiplayer, but I never actually got to do that. So maybe multiplayer is easier or maybe it's even harder, I'm not sure. Now while Altered Beast is super easy, there is some pretty cool presentation to this game. First, you do hear Zeus's voice, which I already showed you, but you also get these gnarly transformations once you collect the balls. It's pretty funny watching the warrior transform into a wolf or a tiger or a dragon. It's pretty silly, but I'm glad they included it in the game. You'll be able to transform into five different beasts. There's a werewolf, a dragon, a bear, a tiger, and even a golden werewolf. Now with my name being Tiger Chainsaw, you can guess that the tiger was my favorite transformation. Now something that I am grateful for was the health system in Altered Beast. Yes, this game is very easy, but you don't die in one hit, and I can appreciate that. Games back then loved to have a one hit kill, so I'm thankful that you can take a couple punches without dying. Now the graphics in Altered Beast is really nothing special. The backgrounds are pretty mediocre and the environments themselves are fairly boring. But what Altered Beast does do really well is have very unique boss fights. Now again, these boss fights are pretty easy, but at least they look cool. 
Sega must have had so much fun coming up with the idea for the bosses as the creativity just oozes from the developers here. The bosses look like a combination of creatures and nature that the developers just threw a dart at a plant and an animal and just combined them. Let's take a look at some of these weird bosses featured in Altered Beast. The first boss looks like he's just detaching his head and throwing multiple heads at you while he grows them back. That's an interesting strategy. The second boss looks like a giant plant that grows eyeballs and shoots them at you. The third boss is no better as it's a sandcastle snail dragon. But not to be outdone, the fourth boss is a floating lava crocodile. And finally, the fifth boss is Neff. Now, he actually transforms into this weird rhinoceros warrior instead of his godlike form. Neff was definitely the toughest boss of all of them, and he should be as he is the final boss. But once you know his pattern and when to mash the buttons, he falls pretty easily. My strategy was a lot of punches to the nuts. As I mentioned earlier, Altered Beast can probably be beaten in 15 to 20 minutes, and I think that's where the main gripe is. You know, along with how easy it is, the short length, the bad graphics, the boring backgrounds, the bland environments. I mean, yeah, that's where the gripe's at. But I am sure that kids that received a Sega Genesis with Altered Beast definitely had fun with it, at least for a day or two. But once you beat it, there's really no replay value unless you team up with another friend. So while there's a lot of mediocrity with Altered Beast, one of the things that it does do really well is the sound effects. I loved it when Neff would scream out, welcome to your doom. Altered Beast is a wonderful beat-em-up game in the arcade. Unfortunately, great arcade games don't always transfer into great console games. Altered Beast is very short and it's very easy, but it does score some points for the really cool dialogue sound effects. I think Altered Beast would have benefited by adding a few more levels and just cranking up that difficulty just a little bit. When you beat an easy game in 20 minutes, how much replay value is there? Not much. And that's why I'm giving Altered Beast a 6.1 out of 10. It is on the bottom rung of average games. And unless you're desperate to play a beat-em-up game or you just want to experience one of the Genesis launch games, then Altered Beast is probably better left on the shelf. So that was my review of Altered Beast on the Sega Genesis. Now, one thing that I want to hear from you guys about is if you've played this game two-player co-op. I never have, so maybe it's a little bit better. I never had that opportunity. But for me, Altered Beast was a very mediocre experience for myself. But let me know your thoughts and comments on Altered Beast overall, and while you're typing away, make sure you like this video and especially sub to my channel as it really helps me grow. All right, happy gaming. Make sure you play a video game today, and of course, thanks for watching.